In this video, I'm showing you guys the different quests that will level up the war meter. So the goal, of course, is to get the war meter to 100% and there are several different ways of doing that. You have these quests right here and of course every single one of these will contribute to the war meter. So the more that you can do, the faster the war meter is going to go up and there are some of these that are easier but the best thing to do is just to grab all of them and then repeat the ones that you enjoy the most there's even a secret quest that will appear but it does require you defeating a boss it's currently unknown how the bosses are spawned but in my instant we did get a crab boss to spawn after defeating it, you're going to get a trophy, head back to Annette, and you'll be able to turn in a secret quest that appears. I'm also under the assumption that anything you kill in this map also contributes to the war meter. I haven't been able to prove this, but it does seem to make sense. The first quest is the scrunch quest. You're going to find those right down at the very bottom over here. So you'll get a little indicator right here telling you that scrunches are appearing and then they will spawn in so you can take them down. But they come from way down here. They come from the dungeon down there. You can actually go down there and you'll see them spawn before the war thing begins or before the indicator pops up. It might be around the same time that they pop up. The clear out quest, of course, is really easy. It just requires you taking down any of the critters in this area chill on a chair is a little bit different so you would just chill on a chair now you don't actually have to chill on the chair the goal here is just to get as close to the chair as you can you're going to see a gold indicator once you get to the gold indicator you will have completed the quest that's how fast it is like it it takes literal seconds for this quest to turn in so out of all the quests the fastest at least as of the filming of this video is chill out now this chair right here is part of that quest but i find it a bit unusual it seems to have some kind of i don't know glitch or something where it doesn't seem to react properly but you don't need to sit and stay in it you simply need to just sit and then look, look at that i already turned it in and I didn't even do anything. I just grabbed it. And then because somebody else had sat down, I was that close to it. And then I ended up getting it. So it's, it is an extremely fast quest to turn in, but yeah, so that's the chill out. Look again, I just got it and I didn't even do anything. That's crazy. The next one is eat snacks. Now this is pretty easy. All you have to do is eat the consumables that are dropped around you're going to have different consumables that are dropped around by these different things like the blood fairies and whatnot. So then you could just consume those and that'll be turning it in. But honestly, not a very quick method of getting it. So not something I would recommend doing. Last but not least is the fishing quest, which is of course very easy. You just have to fish down at the fishing node, which is just down there and then turn it in. This is not a fast way of filling up the meter though if you're doing the quest if you're looking for the fastest quest to do so far it seems to be the chill out because like i showed you it was turning in extremely extremely fast you just got to find where the indicator is and move from there head to the next one and i think it's just two of them you need to do i mean it's telling me to go back there again really make up your mind man there you go Bing, bang, boom, just like that. Can't do it, of course, because I'm in combat now. But that's how to fill up the war meter. Hopefully, this video will help you guys out. Let's get this thing to 100. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and tap that like button, smash the subscribe, and hit the notification so you don't miss any of my content. Thanks for watching, and thanks for this big giant thing being in front of my face while I'm trying to record. Hope you guys have a good one.